You read the title again. How can we maximize your gains through your nutrition? Well, here we go. And yes, I know. I have a massive mole on my head. Haters gonna hate, potatoes gonna potato. Potato. So, today I am here to talk about muscle protein synthesis, MPS. This is a key factor in your diet that ultimately decides whether you build or break down your muscle tissue and thus make or not make your gains. So, over the course of the day, as you can see, you go through periods of anabolism and catabolism, muscle protein buildup, muscle protein breakdown. And what ultimately decides at the end of the day whether you build or lose your muscle is whether you have a positive or a negative protein net balance between your muscle protein synthesis and your muscle protein breakdown. Therefore, it would make sense that we want to maximize muscle protein synthesis and limit muscle protein degradation, muscle protein breakdown, so that at the end of the day, we are in a positive net balance and making gains, bruh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now you're asking me, Scott, how do I maximize this? Well, here you go. Let's go into the factors that contribute to what promotes muscle protein synthesis and what promotes muscle protein breakdown. So come on, bruh. I know you want to explain this. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Basically, MPS occurs based off protein quantity, as you can see, protein quality, as you can see also, and protein feeding frequency too, as you can see. But interestingly enough too, the anabolic response from training can contribute and stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Okay, that is me, bye bye. Well, wasn't that just great? No, not really. But he is right. Of course I'm right. So these are the things that we want to maximize to ensure we are in a positive MPS or protein balance at the end of the day. What we want to minimize is protein breakdown. And these, in you come, are the factors, come on, that contribute to muscle protein breakdown. Come on, bro. Hello, again. Muscle protein breakdown can come from lack of protein quantity, lack of protein quality, lack of protein feeding frequency, and also the anabolic or the catabolic, in this case, stimulus of resistance training. Thank you. Bye-bye. So there you have it. It's the complete opposite of muscle protein synthesis. So let's break this down really quickly. Protein quantity. So roughly 20 to 30 grams of protein seems to be the best dosage per meal, per feeding to uh, stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Next, protein quality. So protein quality, roughly per meal, you want to be getting two to 2.5 grams of leucine, the amino acid leucine, which is the king of amino acids. But you do also need the other amino acids because think of it this way, leucine is the trigger to start MPS, but the other amino acids need to come along to help. So leucine is almost your oven, you turn on the oven, and then the amino acids you put in your food, the end result is just a shitload of muscle. Finally, the last nutritional component to MPS, protein feeding frequency. So how many times do you need to have that 20 to 30 grams? 10 meals per day, bruh. I got my Tupperwares ready to go. No, not quite. Anywhere from three to five times a day is more than enough, and that way you can frequently keep stimulating. <laughs> <laughs> that MPS response and therefore putting you in that positive protein balance at the end of the day and just making all kinds of gains. All kinds. Now, before I bring you to my potato of a graph, mm, potato. you're probably thinking, oh Scott, why 20 to 30 grams per sitting when I can have 200 grams per sitting? And why four to five times per day when I can have a hundred times per day? Well, this is why. Woohoo, that worked. So, as you can see, this is the threshold, the leucine threshold that you need to hit to stimulate muscle protein synthesis, right? So, let's say you intake a meal here, right? It starts going up, boom, boom, it hits the threshold, then, <laughs> okay? Muscle protein synthesis is stimulated, but to hit that threshold, all you need is that 2 to 2.5 grams of leucine, your quality, your protein quality. So anything more is just going to give the same result, whether it's 100 grams of protein or 30 grams of protein. You still get the same response. More is not more. Once you hit the threshold, that's it. So now that somehow this potato of a squiggly graph has explained protein quantity, let's move on to protein feeding frequency and explain why 10 times per day could actually just be the same as 4 to 5 times per day. So. I bet every teacher out there wants that skill. So here we go. Green for MPS, red for MPB, muscle protein breakdown. We have our baseline and then we have our threshold. So baseline, we start. <laughs> so baseline, we start, we take in a meal, we hit the threshold, boom, and it stimulates muscle protein synthesis and then we drop off back to baseline, okay? Now, this is where you need to understand that whole cycle lasts three to four hours and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> 
in! So that means if you take in protein here, you are still not going to stimulate any more MPS than already has. And this is called a refractory period. So you need to allow after your first or your second, whatever protein ingestion it is, you need to allow for it to peak and then to drop before you can stimulate it again. So now we're back at the baseline and we're going catabolic, brah. Oh no. But down here is where you change that. Because you come in with your whey protein or your grenade killer bars and you're like, Oh my god, let's stimulate this again. Goes back up to baseline, hits the threshold, woo! And you stimulate the cycle again for more gains. So easy, guys. Now, in a perfect world, you would come in, bang on that moment and say, Screw this, brah, I'm gonna go straight away before you go catabolic. But how the hell are you gonna know the exact time? Are you gonna have a little MPS watch on you going like, you need to eat protein now. No, you're not. So it's not really that serious. So long as you get in frequent, frequent protein feedings throughout the day, you will be fine. Hopefully that explained why 10 times per day isn't actually better because that refractory period or that gap between every time you stimulate muscle protein synthesis is three to four hours. So if you have four meals per day, that's 16 hours. If you have five meals per day, that's 20 hours. Now, if you're awake longer than 20 hours per day, go ahead, be my guest stimulator. One more time. But four to five times per day is more than enough. So to summarize, what you need to do to maximize every ounce of potential muscle gains through your diet is 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal, preferably containing two to 2.5 grams of leucine. How often? Every three to four hours. That's all you have to do in terms of your nutrition, being a calorie surplus for gaining muscle. I mean, the basics, the basics. <laughs> So, that is the end of the video. All you have to do now is subscribe to the channel, like the video, share on social media, and we will have fun. <laughs> oh, God.